Okay, so I want to open that. Ask the Firebird. So yeah, for now, only G ask the questions. So um, in Canada, do people dip their croissants, their croissant in their coffee and their baguette even? Because that's totally a thing in France and it grosses me out every time I see it. No, we don't do that. We do it in, in maple syrup instead. It makes much more sense, right? Fucking meme question. But the next one I love. What class is best to pick for a D&D campaign when you're starting off? When you're starting one for the first time. So here's the thing. All the classes in D&D are good, right? But there's like a couple of like really complex ones. Like all of the spellcasting classes are really complex. And uh, you should not start with this. Here's the reason why. You, you have to like learn the game first. There's a lot to learn, like attack rolls and fucking grapples and stuff and item and fucking checks and... What the hell's going on here? Ah, oh, what is this? It's screen cancer. So that, that, that's not working. Bye. It's not working. Let's, let's, let's do something. Oh. <sighs> There's a lot to learn in D&D. So the first class you should pick is probably Warrior. Now here's, here's, here's the thing. People think that, you know, like, Warrior is like nothing but... Claymore in the face of goblins, and that's not really true, goblin. See, when where where the sorcerers have a lot of spells, the warriors have a lot of feats, and uh, these feats will give you passive attributes, like you know, like cleave and greater cleave and fucking stun attacks and resistance and stuff. And some of them, so some of these feats can actually be skills you can use, or or are automatically used. Like you you can sunder weapons, so you can like disarm people. You can like uh, know how to, like, fight with a certain class of weapon. You can, like, have skills like Flurry of Blows. You can have, uh, like, full attack bonus. You can, there's a lot of stuff that, you, that the warrior can do. Warriors can, uh, are also pretty good at, like, gra grappling. And if your DM is cool, you, you can, like, you know, you can suplex a dude into an, 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 an another dude. And the only thing that, that, uh, that will allow, allow this is the dice. So you roll like the d20 and if you suplex somebody and you get like 18, he's gonna be like, yeah, sure, you suplex the goblin into another goblin. And you can totally do that as a way. You, 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 you can do this as a sorcerer as well if you really want to try, but it will probably fail because warrior has like lots of strength. That's his thing, pretty much. But the thing is that there's a lot of, like, item usage as well. See, because the warrior is, like, super strong, he can carry a lot of fucking shit with him. So, like, throwing knives, there's, like, potions that you can either throw at people or drink yourself for buffs. You, 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 you can have wands. Nothing stops you from, like, picking the skill um, uh, magical device knowledge. So you can, like, know how wands and magic potions work. And you can, like, you, you can throw fireball. The only difference is that... Uh, the sorcerer and the wizard, he doesn't have to buy them. It's part of his class. Whereas a warrior, he has to buy the wand that will allow him to cast fireballs. But I mean, come on, man. A warrior using f fireball is fucking scary. Or whatever other spells. And um, you can turn into a cleric also, like, you know, like a hey, Ashtag cleric by having, like, wands that can heal people with. It's perfectly possible to do that. The good thing with uh, with warrior is that unlike uh, sorcerers and wizards and shit, he doesn't need much money for his stuff. All a, all a good warrior needs is like a decent set of armor and a claymore, and that's it. Or like a mace or whatever. You can have magical weapons, but he's gonna deal so much damage anyway that that plus two is not going to be as urgent for him compared to like something like, like a rogue like you know like a rogue with a magical dagger the, the thing is that because of sneak attacks that plus two is, is going to become plus something else it's going to be multiplied whereas the warrior he, he doesn't really have that uh the warrior hits like a few times but these hits are like super strong uh, by the way a feat you should get cleave and greater cleave cleave allow pretty much if you kill an enemy and he have cleave cleave rather and there's an, an enemy right close to the enemy you just slayed and, and is in your melee range, you pretty much automatically attack the next target. Greater Cleave is the same, but it goes indefinitely. So if there's like eight people surrounding you and you Greater Cleave all of them, it's possible. If, if, if you one hit kill them, and they, they, if there's like eight skeletons, right, and they have like four health points because skeleton bones, they don't have health, and you like fucking Great Mace them one by one, 
you can do that with great, 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 greater cleave. So select that feat, please. It's pretty fucking good. And <laughs> yeah, no, it's you should definitely get that. But yeah, no, Warrior is not necessarily a boring pick, but it's like it's a very safe and simple pick. If you just play Warrior for the sake of having lots of health and stuff, you can take your time to learn this the the the, the game via other means, like how the the other weapons work, how all of the magic items and stuff work. Like you know, if 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 you want to use scrolls. Or throwing daggers, or like chains, or you know, whatever, like c carry ropes and try to tangle people with it. You can do that as a warrior, and it's not going to be like stupid. Whereas a sorcerer thing is, sorcery, like, there's probably like 200 arcane spell alone. That's not like counting divine or nature spell. So, um, you have to be careful because if you're pick a sorcerer for the first time in, and you don't know your spells first off and then you don't know the game you don't know how like attacking people work you don't know how the hell you how your crossbow works it's going to be a problem so i suggest picking like warrior ranger uh maybe thief or like rogue if you feel like the stealth part is like cool but i would suggest something like that that that's a very interesting question it got it got me going for a, a while so thank you it's great i'm actually I'm actually really lucky you asked me something about D&D, &D, yo! It's great! So yeah, ask me some more questions. That's it for now, because I, I made like the fucking AMA this, this very morning. Nobody's going to see it. So uh, yeah, what I will probably do is take this audio and like back it up with something else. That's what I should do, right? It's, it's like smart. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Virgil's been fun, but we are now switching to... XCOM, baby. It's been a while. Let's 